your Snapchat Spotlight account looks something like this, or even worse, like this, there's a very high possibility that you're actually shadow banned. And after watching today's video, I'll guide you through the different tips and tricks that you can use to either A, get your account unshadow banned, or never receive a shadow ban later in the future. Now, every single social media platform has some type of shadow ban ability, but none is harsher than Snapchat, especially with Snapchat Spotlight. You can go from one day getting thousands upon millions of views on Spotlight to instantly getting shadow banned and getting zero views across all of your videos. And I know from firsthand experience, being shadow banned is one of the most frustrating things ever to deal with. So make sure you listen through the entire video as I'm going to take you through all the different things that can get you shadow banned so you know how to avoid them moving forward. Now, one of the biggest reasons I see for people getting shadow banned, and it's honestly crazy to me how not common this knowledge is, is a VP ends avoid using a general VPN at literally all costs like understand this if you plan on posting on social media do not use a VPN to post your videos and it's especially bad when it comes to snapchat on YouTube I don't really have this issue but when it comes to snapchat spotlight if you use a VPN on your account you're just asking to get shadow banned and I'll explain why so essentially when you're using a VPN it's like a shared IP and you're sharing this IP with everyone else who's also using that VPN. The problem is that these massive companies like Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube might have blocks on that shared VPN. So whenever you go to upload a video, the alarms start running in the Snapchat algorithm stating, hey, this IP is banned. Don't show this video to the algorithm. And that's no fault of your own. It's just because the shared VPN was banned previously at some point by another user who was sharing the VPN with you. So it's very important that you use your own IP to upload videos or there is a workaround which I'll talk about right now. Now the IP addresses provided by the VPNs can be banned but your very own IP address from your home address can also be banned and this could be a possibility as to why you're shadow banned on Snapchat Spotlight. Now a way that you can check if your IP banned is simply making a new account but under that same IP address and if you're noticing you're not getting any views on that brand new account then there is a good chance that you are IP banned by Snapchat. I would give it like two weeks just to make sure it's not just a you problem and your videos just suck. But if you are IP banned, there is one massive workaround and it's actually by using a VPN. And I know that might sound counterintuitive just because at the beginning of this video, I said do not use VPNs. But the difference is you need to use a dedicated IP from a VPN provider. Now, if you don't know what a dedicated IP address is, essentially it is an IP address that only belongs to you. No one else has access to it. No one else can use it. It's not shared whatsoever, meaning that this IP address is not going to be banned. So if you absolutely need a brand new IP address because your old one is banned, I highly suggest using the Surfshark dedicated IP. This isn't a sponsorship, I'm not sponsored by them at all it's just personally what i've used before and it's worked fantastically so i'd recommend it and i'll have the link down below maybe i'll have an affiliate but i'm, I'm not being sponsored to say that so there is a possibility that your ip address is banned but there's also a possibility that your content just might not be that good now if you're getting zero views across every single video 100 percent your shadow banned but if you're getting like very low amounts of views, but you still are getting views, there is a chance your content quality just isn't that great. People aren't engaging with it. The retention rates suck on it. And that's why you're not getting views consistently across your account. Now, I will say when it comes to Snapchat Spotlight, it is the one social media platform where you can put like bare minimum effort into your content and still get thousands upon millions of views, especially compared to like TikTok or YouTube. I find you have to put way more effort into the content you put show spotlight not so much the case you can really upload garbage content and it goes viral but what i've noticed a lot of people coming through my discord server who are complaining about being shadow banned and then when i check out their account their video quality is just horrible and not only is it horrible it's just re-uploads of other videos they found on the internet with absolutely zero changes to it now i don't think snapchat really has the greatest algorithm when it comes to like catching re-uploaded content especially compared to like TikTok or YouTube but its system is good enough to understand that if you simply re-upload a video with absolutely zero changes it is going to get picked up and your account is going to get shadow banned so it is an absolute must that you add some 
some type of change to the videos that you're uploading to Snapchat. It could be as simple as putting text on the screen or adding some special effect like a, a sound effect at the beginning of the video. Just make any minor minute change to your videos so that it's not getting flagged for just repurposed reused content. Additionally, if you plan on making money, which I assume a lot of you are trying to make money through Snapchat Spotlight's monetization program, you absolutely have to add something to the video with one of Snapchat's features. It's literally one of the requirements. And if you haven't seen the video I did on all of Snapchat's requirements, I'll link that down below. I'm planning on making an updated version because they have updated their policy and there's a few new requirements added, which actually makes it easier to earn money, which is pretty cool. But that's for another video. Let's go on to the next tip. Now before we get into the next tip, I first need to shout out the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare. Skillshare offers a ton of courses on literally anything you can think of, like this editing course, which takes you through all the steps into becoming a beast at Premiere Pro. But they also have courses on other things like script writing, graphic design, and a whole bunch more in the content creation realm. You can also choose a learning path like this one, which makes you a more efficient content creator with ChatGPT. Additionally, the first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. Now I'm not expecting this video to get a million views, so I highly suggest taking advantage of the free trial because, well, it's free. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and let's get into the next tip. And that is watermarks. And I know what you're thinking, you're probably thinking, well, I'm not stupid enough to add a watermark or include a watermark on my video, like the TikTok watermark or like someone's at just plastered on screen. Well, maybe some of you guys didn't know that. If you don't know that, don't have any watermarks on your videos. It's an instant way to get shadow banned because it's just so obvious that your content is repurposed. But the thing people don't understand is that there are watermarks and I'll call them watermarks. They're not actually watermarks, but there are certain things that Snapchat's algorithm can pick up on. For example, the uh, TikTok text, I'll put it up on screen. You know what I'm talking about. It's for like that block formation behind the text. It's really popular on TikTok. If you have that in your video, there is a chance it gets picked up in the algorithm and gets flagged for repurposed content from TikTok. So watermarks aren't just like logos or social media ads. They could also be editing tools from other social media platforms. So that's something to really keep in mind when you are trying to find content to repurpose and publish on Snapchat Spotlight is that it doesn't have those types of watermarks on the video. And in addition to that, I found, especially with the content I've uploaded throughout social media, when you have stuff like, let's say, for example, the TikTok text, and it's on Snapchat Spotlight, the user who's watching these videos is smart enough to understand that, hey, wait, this is the TikTok text. This is clearly a re-uploaded video, and there's a higher possibility they're just gonna swipe away just because they think it's a re-upload and they're not interested. Now, this next tip I'm gonna talk about, I don't know how much applies to Snapchat Spotlight, but it very well could. I've just personally never tested it out, but I absolutely have used this multiple times on TikTok, so I'm assuming it might work the same. I know a lot of social media platforms have a lot of crossover, with the way things work. So I'd assume it probably works on Snapchat Spotlight. And that is the fact that you can get a SIM card on Amazon for as cheap as like 40 bucks and you can spoof your location of where you're uploading the video. So let's say you wanted to reach American viewers. Well, you just got to get an American SIM card put it into a brand new phone, and this is absolutely vital. You need to ensure that that phone is turned off when it comes to Bluetooth. So the Bluetooth absolutely has to be off before you even put the SIM card in. But once you have that SIM card in, it's gonna be an American SIM card, and this could help evade shadow bans. In addition to that, it could also help you earn money if you're outside of the country's eligibility. Now, I'm not saying I do that for TikTok, but what I will say is that I'm based in Canada and technically in Canada, we can't make any money through the monetization program, but there is a workaround that I may have just explained to you. Now, these are all the tips I can give to you guys today on how you can evade shadow bans, how to avoid them just in general moving forward. Now, I'd say probably most of you dealing with shadow bans might not even be dealing with them at all. There is a very high chance that your quality of content just might not be the best. I know a lot of times, even myself, I think my content that I upload is way better than it actually is. 
And this is just a huge creator dilemma. Usually the stuff you create and put all your hard work into, you usually think is a lot better than it actually is. And this could be a real possibility. Now, if you do want any help with creating content online and just earning money in general when it comes to content creation, I do have a private Discord server that's linked down below. It's the Kingdom Club. It's a one-time purchase and I will essentially answer all your questions when it comes to creating your very own account. It also comes with like 10 hours of course content, just talking about all my personal experiences when it comes to creating content. And I also show off one of the YouTube channels I run with over 300,000 subscribers that I barely put any effort into. So if that's of interest to you, that will be linked down below. But it's been Trent, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.